hi everybody this is another class of the bootstrap so here in this class I'm just gonna teach you to actually download the bootstrap instead of using its CDN why because you know that the CDN takes time to uh, open the page a little bit so I'm just directly downloading the bootstrap here just click on the download bootstrap and then just instead of copying this bootstrap CDN which is actually the shortcut let's just click on the download bootstrap close that now download bootstrap I just clicked on the download bootstrap here now you can see that the save link as wherever you just want to save I'm just clicking on the desktop and here is the folder the bootstrap and I'm just pasting the file bootstrap 3.3.5 distributable dot zip now let's just click on the start download it is it has been downloaded let's just click on close now you know that we have to download the jQuery as well so I'm just clicking on the jQuery.com website and here I'm just getting the website of the jQuery as well it's about to opening now you can see this what is jQuery jQuery is a fast and small and etc let's just click on the j download jQuery and now instead of uh, copying it CDN as you knew I'm just directly clicking on the download the compressed production jQuery so just click on the save a link as and then just go to the bootstrap and here just paste this file okay we just pasted the jQuery and we just downloaded the bootstrap as well so I'm just going to the bootstrap folder there is the index.html file and there is a the bootstrap file let's just click on the extract all yep click on next now it's extracting close that and there is the main folder first of all I'm just deleting the zip folder okay and there is the folder of the bootstrap so don't do anything just go inside again inside and just copy all these or cut the CSS JSON fonts all three folders okay let's just cut this go back go back more and here where you just placed your index to HTML file let's just place the bootstrap files and now just delete this empty folder these files are the bootstrap file when I just go to the uh, the bootstrap CSS now we can see that the bootstrap CSS dot mean it means the this is the uncompressed version the first one and this is the minified and compressed version of the bootstrap you can see that there is a little difference between these sizes so by the way this is the bootstrap theme and uh, the both are the same now I'm just going to the JS folder now you can see that bootstrap and bootstrap min.js and here is a phone folder I'll just guide you that how to use the font the specific bootstrap glyph icons font where we have a lot of fonts I'll just deal you so by the way let's just change the name of the jQuery file here you can see that it has a lot of uh, big name a little big name so I'm just removing the uh, all the extra codes and only the jQuery.js so simply pick up this file and paste it on the JS folder now just go to the notepad and what I'm just gonna do is actually removing these script or instead of removing let's just remove the links okay just directly type CSS folder because you know that uh, the CSS folder is the here is the bootstrap so now the CSS folder is in the same path of the index to HTML so CSS slash bootstrap dot CSS save that go down and let's just remove all the things of the jQuery and simply type JS slash jQuery dot JS the file which I just pasted inside the JS a little bit ago removing the this code again and typing CSS slash sorry not the CSS the JS slash j, uh, bootstrap dot JS save that go to the browser and let's just refresh your project you're still having the same things that means you just truly apply the bootstrap the downloadable version of bootstrap so the time is to close the files and everything is fine we just learned some more things in the, in the next class, so stay tuned and goodbye.